Hey guys and welcome back to another video and here we are two years later after putting in service the Tiger Shark from Hayward which I'm really happy with it. After two years the only thing that I had to replace was this belt and I'm going to replace this year as well the filter system which has been working great but it's noticing that it's getting a bit used. Now the prices are not that cheap, I will put the link down below for the belt, it's here in Europe roughly 70 euros, but having in mind that in two years I only have to replace one, not bad at all. By the way, I did the review two years ago as I said, I will leave a link right over here so that you guys can check out all the details, what I thought about it and the ideas that I had still remain the same, really happy with it, it takes a lot of hours out of myself that I can enjoy doing things such as this one which is recording a video to share with the community in YouTube which is just awesome. Now the topic of today is just to share with you guys my experience in removing, well not removing but replacing the belt and I initially had a few questions here and there, I did read a few guides, I don't have the user manual anymore, I'm not really sure if in the user manual shows how to replace, so really quickly I'm going to share with you guys my experience with it. So the belt I purchased it on Amazon, I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the prices and so on and so forth and once it arrived uh, what I did was to start the process of replacing it. Now first of all we will need to remove the handle, it's uh, hold it by two screws, one on each side and then we will need to remove the filter section which is easy, something that I remove on a daily basis to clean it out, well uh, day yes, day no, so that's the way that I do it right over here. Then I, we will need to remove seven screws that are on the side panel on the interior. This was my biggest question, I was not really sure where the screws were, I thought it was on the outside or there was any other mechanism but there are seven screws. Now I did start with a regular screwdriver but there are some screws that it's really difficult to remove, especially the last one on the left, it was really difficult, I couldn't do it with my wrist so I did try with another screwdriver which has a format of a hammer, I'm not really sure about the technical name but just to mention that I don't need to do much strength with my wrist and that was the easiest way. I actually should have started with that one. Now once we, are, we have removed the uh, seven screws we can remove that side cover and that is it. We are now ready to put the belt. Now there was no belt to remove because mine was broken so I just inserted the new belt. After that we will need to put the side cover once again. There are uh, two uh, loose pieces which is to move the handle itself, it's a great system. Those two loose pieces will be a bit annoying to put the side cover because they keep on moving but with a little bit of patience we will get there. But once we have the side cover in place just put back the screws using that uh, screwdriver that I mentioned which was a lot easier and then uh, lastly we just need to do a dry run, at least I did to see if everything was okay, if I didn't hear any weird noise and so on and so forth, everything worked just great. Put on the handle, screwing the last two screws once again and basically that is it. What I did was yesterday it was on a test drive <laughs> on water working fine and today it has started working already so just great. It takes a lot out of my free time that I did spend a few hours uh, per week uh, cleaning the pool and the Tiger Shark is doing a great job so hopefully it will keep that way and with a little bit of maintenance I will keep enjoying things that I wouldn't be able to do so. Hopefully this video was helpful for those of you that have a tiger shark and are uh, wondering how to replace the belt and this is it. Easy as this. Guys if it was useful don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.